Hello everyone, I'm Thaisa Yamamura, Head of Business Development at Sony Electronics. And I'll be joined by my colleague, Dave Young, a Visual Interaction Designer. In this session, we will be covering how to improve your workflow with Sony's new spatial reality display that we just announced. So, let's get started! Before I talk about how to improve your workflow, let me introduce you to Sony's new display that combines our legacy of cutting-edge visuals and 3D technology to provide an incredible optical experience to our users. But how the SR display works? It's a 15.6 inches 3D glasses-free volumetric display that works by connected to a powerful computer sold separately. This PC needs to run on Sony's dedicated SDK built for Unity. But what is unique about this technology? The SR display combines three unique technologies from Sony. The first one is the high-speed vision sensor and eye sensing technology that is placed on the center of the display where we have a built-in camera. The second technology is the micro-optical lens that is placed on top of the LCD. The third one is the real-time rendering algorithm. So those three technologies combined can provide a very good quality of 3D videos and images for our users with the naked eyes, without the needs of wearing any VR headsets or glasses. Well, let me explain each technology one by one. Starting with the high-speed vision sensor, which is the Sony's proprietary high-speed vision sensor that captures the position of the viewer eyes that it's in front of the display. So based on this information, it generates in real time the right and left images. And regardless of the viewing point of the viewer, um, the images can be displayed in different angles. So if the user move his or her head right and left or up and down, the images adapt to the viewing point, allowing the user to have uh, 3D images uh, in different angles. The second technology is the micro optical lens that are placed on, on the surface of the LCD display and they divide the images into the right and left eyes allowing the, the viewer to have this stereoscopic viewing with the, just the naked eyes. And our engineering, they did a very precise job to reduce the level of crosstalk for the 3D images. So uh, crosstalk is when the user can see double images on a 3D screen. And our device uh, enables the user to have a very smooth stereoscopic images um, and videos. The third one is the real-time rendering algorithm that allows the users to see the stereoscopic images in a very realistic way and very smooth as you move around. So even if you move your, round, your head right and left, the image adapts in a very high speed for the users to have the best 3D experience. Let me show you a couple use case and target users for this device. Starting with content creators in the 3D CG field, anyone who is developing projects in 3D can utilize the SR display as a preview tool of their work. Also, we are targeting different industries um, in the entertainment business, on the auto business, architects and AR, VR content creators. But let me show you the use case in each industry. Starting with filmmakers and animators, we've been exploring a partnership with Sony Pictures uh, for the virtual production. Directors can utilize the display as a preview tool of their work in a volumetric and realistic way whether they are designing their the next action sequences or preparing for the VFX. They can modify the character's position, simulate the different scenes using the display as a preview tool to decide the best approach uh, for the movie. 
So here is an example of the Ecto car from Ghostbusters uh, running on the display where they could utilize the display uh, as a preview tool. Next is on the auto business. Uh, Volkswagen was one of the first companies uh, to explore the SR display and they see a potential use case in three different ways in the auto industry. Starting with the designing process, when designing a new car, uh, they can utilize the SR display to improve the quality, speed, and nature of the vehicles when they are designing it. Uh, it's the perfect tool that they can utilize to visualize their work without having to wear any VR headsets or glasses. Second use case is on the R&D process, what they called virtual tryout. Um, it can be used, the, the display, to preview their 3D parts um, in a very good quality of details that they cannot see on a 2D screen, especially the sense of depth and different angles. The third one is on the dealership. On the high-end dealerships, the customers has, have the opportunity to customize their car, change colors, the interior, and see how the cars will look like um, in a very realistic way. And this helps them to decide the best um, uh, options that they can buy the car. Then we are exploring the use case to improve the work of architects and product designers. Uh, on the architect industry, the architects can design their project with the SR display without missing any details that they would in a 2D display. Also, when presenting the project to their client, they can show their work on the SR display. It's easier for the client to understand and agree with the changes for the projects. On the product design, the designers can see the products in a 360 view without missing any details. The SR display improves their workflow, um, allowing them to modify the features and change uh, the designing of the product that they are working on. But what our developers are saying about our SR display? Let me show you a quick video about it. Every single person that I've seen observe the display is just like, wow, I've never seen anything like it. You know, I mean, you're literally looking at magic happen on the screen. But the mill, we, um, we always take a brief and try to, you know, expand on it. Whereas this is no kind of precedent. Who is your favorite painter right now? Oh, favorite painter? I mean, I always love Brosco. Seeing it was kind of mesmerizing and kind of mind-blowing. You're not defining a set frame, but you're giving a window. Look deeper, look further. You find yourself leaning around, seeing something. We've all seen holographic effects, but this is one that you can see with your own eyes in a, in a very physical sense. It tracks your eyes and it's just got this depth that is just pretty magical. The initial scene that we built, we actually had to pare down in terms of camera moves and animation. The things that you were trying to achieve with movement with the camera, you end up doing with the assets themselves. It's just a slight adjustment to the storytelling. This isn't just a clearer screen, more pixels or a better sound. This is something new. It starts the cogs in your brain kind of churning and your mind is trying to come up with like, what can we do with this? Like, what can we do with this? This is going to open up a whole new world of design and language beyond what we know now. The promise of what's possible in these mediums is now becoming a reality. All of the things that we think are going to happen are going to happen. <laughs> Crazy. So what advice would I give people for using the spatial reality display? get onto the display unit as soon as possible. You know, the, the sooner that you're seeing what you're creating uh, on the monitor, the, the easier you're, you're gonna find the creative process. Be flexible, be agile in your creative thinking, 
be uh, flexible in your production approach. Work with artists who understand both the CG pipeline and the real-time pipeline. Work with creatives who are able to adapt the vision to the medium. You have a blank canvas to, you know, try things. Next, I want to show you a virtual demo of the display. I hope you could have an idea of how the display works. Next, I would like to inform you that Sony's Spatial Reality Display is part of the Unity Verified Partner Solution, uh, which means that Unity has validated our SDK and it's ready for you to explore. Then I would like to ask Dave Young to show you how to develop contents using our SR display uh, SDK running on Unity. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Young. I'm an interaction designer at Sony Electronics in San Diego. In this session, we'll be covering how to install and use the SDK for Sony's spatial reality display. So let's get started. Just a note, I've already installed the uh, plugins for this with just a basic installation wizard, so pretty straightforward. So once you do that, then you're good to go with uh, using the SDK here in Unity. So I'm gonna start with a completed scene. And so I've got this uh, crazy tiki guy and I wanna use him on my display. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the SDK. And the usual thing, everything's checked. Import away. And here we go and uh, it's it's telling me if you don't have 64-bit set up, then it's going to change it. So you say OK. And there we go. So it's coming in. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. roll. OK, it goes pretty quick, as you could see. So now I've got some of my stuff here. And I'll go through it real quick, so the basic stuff. There are sample scenes which are very cool, like um, you can build one at a time or you can build the, the basic one and it's going to uh, give you kind of cubes floating. It's gonna give you some cool other, some pretty cool actually stuff that you could just double click on, build and go if you want. But I'm gonna show you a little more of the, uh, the base use. And so I'm gonna go into prefab runtime, uh, prefabs, and so what we have is this SR display, it's a manager. And this is pretty much the camera system, so to speak. It's kind of the secret sauce for the stereoscopic stuff. So I'm gonna just drag that into the scene. Um, so you could see it puts this camera here. Let me go back to kind of where I was. Um, everything's kind of real world, so it's kind of small in here. You can see the gizmos are big, so I usually kind of turn off the gizmos. But basically, you have this uh, this this camera rig out here, which is uh, consists of this kind of anchor and these left and eye points here, which are they're not not necessarily they're cameras, but I don't know if the Unity sees them exactly as cameras, but um, but that's what they do. Anyway. So I dropped that in the scene and, and I'm just gonna keep it as it is for now. And there's also some prefab like this box here. And if I drop this box in, it basically simulates the space for this 
you know, this display. So it gives you kind of the stage there so you kind of understand what you're working with. Um, so this is great. So this is going to tell me where I want to put my guy. So I'm going to move this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to move this guy up. Sorry. And uh, put it. Uh, let me go ahead and close to him. I'm going to grab his bottom node here. And I'm just going to move him up so he's happy in the scene. Maybe scale him just a bit. Move him around. Do 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 do. All right. So that's kind of cool. Let's push him back a little bit. Okay. Simple as that. Of course, it's a Unity scene. You can do whatever you want. You can add extra, ob you know, lights or anything. So maybe I'll go ahead and I'll add a <coughs> new directional light. So it's kind of maybe shooting up and hopefully uh, filling in some of the bottom part there. Oh, by the way, I'm using the the just the regular 3D built-in uh, renderer. Um, so let me give it a little bit of a coloration here, and then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to bring the intensity down, just kind of just do a little fill just for interest. Okay, so let's call that good. So one other thing I can do, so right now I could simply build this, and it would be uh, stereoscopic, it'd be super cool, but one, one little quick thing I'll show you in this is if we go into, where's that, uh, samples, and there's this look at thing, which is kind of a, it's just a simple uh, guy that's kind of with a nose that kind of moves with a ball that kind of moves towards you as you're looking around. So that's, I want this guy to look at me when I'm looking around at him, kind of like if you've ever been to Disneyland, there's these statues that keep looking at you. That's kind of what it does. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. I want to put it on this, um, no, the, the root node here, my little game object. And then if I go into the inspector, the inspector over here for the moment. And, uh, so there it is. There's a target. It's asking, what do you want to point it at? So I'm going to go and point it at one of these cameras, basically. So I go, okay. So that's what it's doing. So let me get rid of this now. This is, whoops. Let me get rid of this. So now that's attached. So if I play, if I hit play, you're going to see it, it'll work. It'll just kind of be a double image. Um, and that kind of tells me that the stereoscopic stuff is working. So we'll take a look here. So, and you can now see I'm, I'm moving around and you can see up here, it's pretty cool. Like it knows where I am. I'm going to move my head down. Sorry, the chair is creaking a little bit and I'm looking around and it's actually following me. It's super cool. So let me stop that. Now I just go into, uh, build settings, usual. Add that. Here's where it changed that 64 bit. I can hit uh, build and run, and we'll just put it in here. I'll make a, a new folder called builds. Great. And we'll let it go. And then what's going to happen? I'm going to switch to another because it's hard to tell in here. It'll be blurry. I'm going to show you a render from just an external camera to try to simulate what it's looking at. But uh, it's as simple as that. So uh, here we go. Yeah, so I can look around. It, he's pretty creepy, but he's sitting there floating in space and in 3D, I feel like I re reach out and touch him. It's really cool effect. Um, and that's it. It's basically, you can bring the, this in and it's, it's still Unity. You do whatever you want in there. You just kind of work it around this space. It's kind of a stage. Um, and I've already started to see some really creative stuff and I'm sure we'll see plenty more. Um, it's definitely worth seeing in person if you ever get the chance because it's a it's an amazing effect. Um, so that's it. Um, thanks for attending this Unite Now session.
And uh, we hope you hope this was informative and feel free to provide us with feedback. And finally, be sure to check out the Unite Now page for other sessions that are ensure to inform and inspire you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for attending this United Now session on how to improve your workflow using Sony's spatial reality. We hope you've learned about this new SR display from Sony. Feel free to provide us feedback and for more information about this new product, please access our website www.sony.com/srdisplay. Thank you.